Uh, I'm not trying to start a fight. I'm just saying three of our team use mana, and it'd be nice to get a little more room in our budget for my upgrades. I haven't gotten new gear ever since we Cold, came to- Cold, you're right. I'm sorry I let my role within the church compromise the integrity of your party. I'll talk to Rob when we get back to town, and... Wait, weren't we supposed to be doing something? I mean, what we're talking about is pretty important, but now that you mention... Delson! Shit! Which one do I shoot? Guy, it's me! You know me! We've been through thick and thin together! I'm the mimic! of nerve working in this din of sin and debauchery! Were I not in service to the three divines and the upholder of their honorable code, I would strike you down! <sighs> right, I'll just write that down as a tankard of water and bread for Rob. <sighs> oh, what a... God, what son of... Oh. The nerve of that worker. Trying to get me to drink alcohol of all things. You know, Rob, drinking alcohol isn't a sin under the Holy Trinity's doctrine. You can unwind a bit here and there. Hmm. Priestess Solara, one does not need to unwind when in service to the great beings who enlighten our people, especially. Alcohol, of all things. Uh, Stuff it, Delson! I don't need flack from you, too. Here you are! So cool! We ever gonna graduate from two-star missions? I don't think we're ready for anything above two, especially since Rob keeps running off to try to convert people who have the slightest appreciation for the divines. And I'm still under gear! That's because our gear is in temporal for the party's well-being. Whatever. I can take the brunt of any assault, as well as Alara, for if either of us went down, our ability to defend and recover mid-combat would be nigh. Just so, Delson's scouting ability puts him at risk if he were to be spotted. Therefore, he gets priority over you as well. I disagree. See? Delson agrees with us too! <sighs> I guess that makes sense. <laughs> That's my boyfriend for ya. Always listening to reason. Yeah. Reason. I tell you what. If you let me pick the next quest, we'll give you 50% of the reward to get you some new gear. Sound fair? Yeah! I'm all for it! Just nothing too extreme, okay? The guild locks us into that quest until a party member dies or we complete. Hey! Ah, God damn it! <sighs> well, whatever it is, I'm sure we got it. Hey, Colt! How'd your last quest go? Oh, hey! It went great, sir! Um, everything all right? Actually, would you mind if we talked in private? Huh? Oh, uh, sure. I was just wondering if I could ask you where Alara was last night. I'm not looking to accuse anyone just yet, but someone's been seen sneaking around town during curfew. 
well. <laughs> I see. You two make quite a cute couple, and and what about the rest of your party? <laughs> All right. Well, I've wasted enough of your time. You're a good kid, Colt. I'll see you around. Uh, I got our quest! Awesome! Then let's start getting provisions. There's no time! This is our ticket to become heroes! Just like we wanted, Colt! It's the once-in-a-lifetime chance to get ourselves in the pages of history! Uh, really? <laughs> Hard to imagine that from a three-star. I can't believe you. I got a sequence of a lifetime? You better believe I did! Imagine us, heroes of the romance! Words, 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 words! <laughs> How many checkpoints does that make now? We haven't encountered any checkpoints! Six, at least. I never thought I'd see the old Capital Territory in disrepair like this. Capital? Capital of what? Ow! Figures, you dolt. Didn't pay much attention in school, huh? Too much time with the fairy tales and hero books. <laughs> Easy with the staff. I'm not that thick skulled. There was a time, many years ago, and this place was united under one flag, and the Vale bloodline oversaw these fair lands, not as overlords, but as its just and rightful rulers. I hate to break it to them, but this place is far from fair. Even the wheat seem to have a hard time growing, and we haven't seen anyone living here for miles. How did a prosperous kingdom come to this? This place was once known as Solstice. Being the northmost region on the continent, it was where the sun hit the most during the summer, and the least during the winter. While it did make the winters harsh and bitter, it would allow for incredible crop yield during the harvest. Its plentiful woods, allowing for there to be no real need for expansion, as it seemed that it would just regrow faster than it would be cut. Alas, no heaven on this world can last forever, as the son of the ruling lord was different. He was driven to prove himself as a ruler, and would stop at nothing to surpass his father's achievements, feeling inadequate achieving just that. In his childhood, he had defeated the captain of the guard in serious combat before age ten, and despite his father's numerous attempts, would always manage to get into the less appropriate thirst for knowledge. Of course not! <clears throat> right, well, I'll step in now because this is the part I'm most familiar with. Lord Vale had a thirst for knowledge of the past that most would rather lay untouched. As he got older, he grew more daring, acquiring a cursed weapon in his family's vault that was said to be able to negate holy magic in its entirety. Ooh, so that's the reason you took this job. <laughs> Someone wants a promotion. Ah! Shut up! It's a threat to the church and must be dealt with. W what I stand to gain doesn't compare to the danger it possesses as long as it exists. Precisely. Though the present Lord Vale wields this blade, he has sat lazily upon his throne. While the surrounding lands fall to decay and suffering, 
caring for naught but his personal power and fantasy. We're not here! My lord, it seems another foolish group of heroes has accepted your challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Please do make sure that at least one makes it to me this time, though, Idol. I grow quite bored, and I love to toy with them when I get my blade bloody again. As you say, Lord Vale. 